after studying this module you shall be able to understand the key features of business ecosystem analyze the difference between business ecosystem and business environment identify the interplay of various forces in the business ecosystem know the importance of understanding the nature of multidimensional business ecosystem for entrepreneurs as well as existing players through the study of its various aspects such as complexity dynamism diversity etc the subject of ecosystem or more precisely the business ecosystem is an area of interest for budding entrepreneurs accommodations and the corporate players therefore it is imperative to understand the concept of business ecosystem its approach and how it is linked with the upcoming and existing business enterprises this objective has been met with the discussion of the key characteristics of business ecosystem in the present module generally when we talk about business the idea of economic activity with money at its center flashes through our minds but when we come out of the boundaries of preconceived notion notion that businesses is all about money regarding business we realize that business is not about money only rather it is one of the many objectives of business and these objectives are accomplished within the business ecosystem an entrepreneur needs to adapt strategies as per the business ecosystem and business ecosystem adapts itself in tune with business environment james f murray developed a basic understanding of business ecosystem by comparing it with biological ecosystem in his words a company is viewed not as a member of a single industry but as part of a business ecosystem that crosses a variety of industries murray 1993 Before discussing the key features of business ecosystem we must know that business environment and business ecosystem are distinct terms that are interrelated and interwoven together business environment does not readily include the interplay of various forces and relationship that exist among organisms and relationship between environment and organisms individuals and organizations Business ecosystem specifically represents the relationships and interactions between various elements immediate stakeholders and related entities of it it also considers interaction between ecosystem and environment let us discuss the following key characteristics also shown in figure 1 of business ecosystem in detail complexity competition and cooperation coexistence symbiosis diversity innovation and openness dynamic and adaptive complexity business organizations are complex entities themselves and when we talk about business community or business ecosystem they are even more complex business ecosystem is a whole made up of many intricate parts the system becomes intricate due to the uncertainty of outcome what will happen because of the unpredictable ways by which the organisms or actors within the system interact one should not confuse complex system with complicated system let us distinguish between simple complicated and complex systems first simple system simple systems are easy to understand and control they may involve primary issues like understanding the terminology or usage of techniques as in case of following a recipe to make a dish at first one needs to have knowledge of ingredients and techniques mentioned in the recipe and thereafter the steps are to be followed having done this there are bright chances of success that is making a good dish second complicated system a complicated system is of course difficult to comprehend but is predictable complicated systems have high degree of certainty protocols rules formulae are necessary here repetition provides experience which in turn increases the chances of success for example 
sending a satellite in the space. With repetition of such missions, there are greater chance of success. To take another example, let us view a car as a system. It seems to be a complex system, but actually it is a complicated one. We can dissemble the car into various components or parts and easily understand the working and the role of each and every part in the functioning of the system that is the car. Third, complex system. Complex systems are difficult to understand as well as difficult to predict how the system will respond to changes in the system itself or in the outer surroundings of it. For example, the human body is a very complex system consisting of various organs that work together. Out of many organs of the body, brain is the most complex and intricate organ. Another example of complexity could be the complexity of raising a child. Every child is unique and responds differently to different stimuli. Raising a child once does not ensure that you would be able to raise another child successfully using your experience with the first child. Therefore, the outcome is uncertain. Fourth, business ecosystem as a complex system. Having understood the concept of simple, complicated and complex system, we are in a position to say that business ecosystems are complex systems that are made up of many parts that work together. We cannot separate the parts from the whole. Business ecosystems are made up of various parts such as customers, suppliers, competitors, investors and related businesses industries. One part cannot be separated from another and the role purpose of one entity cannot be studied in isolation. Moreover, it cannot be predicted with precision how the business ecosystem will respond to the environment of which it is a part. How the parts of the system will interact with each other in case of a change in a part of the system cannot be predicted with certainty. According to Sargut and Magrath 2011, three properties determine the complexity of an environment. First, multiplicity, that is the number of interacting elements. Second, interdependence, that is how connected those elements are. Third, diversity, that is heterogeneity of various elements. The greater the multiplicity, interdependence and diversity, greater the complexity, Sargut and Magrath 2011. If we weigh the business ecosystem on the basis of these properties, we can see that business ecosystem exhibits these three properties, that is multiplicity of diverse elements or constituents that are interwoven together and continually interact with each other. From an entrepreneur's viewpoint, it is imperative to look into the complexity of business ecosystem of which he or she is going to be a part of before embarking upon the implementation of the business plan to increase the chances of success and to make more practical and feasible strategies. Next is competition and corporation coexistence. In a business ecosystem, competition and cooperation coexist. Let us discuss this key feature in four parts. First, competition. Competition or rivalry is the term that we often use when we talk about business. In a business ecosystem, we see rivalry when one company or organization attempts to go ahead of its competitors. An industry at the micro level or a business ecosystem at macro level can be seen as a competitive landscape. Regardless of the eagerness to embark upon a startup, an entrepreneur cannot be said to be well equipped to start a business unless he or she has analyzed the competitive landscape which in turn will affect the probability of proposed business. The Porter's Five force model can be used as a tool by the entrepreneur to judge that whether the industry he wants to enter is a realistic place to enter or not by analyzing the five competitive forces as proposed by Michael Potter. Second, cooperation. To cooperate is to help one another in a common aim. 
for example in the business ecosystem encompassing the film industry various constituents of the ecosystem such as actors producers directors etc are the facilitators for each other there has to be a symphony among all the players to achieve the goal they must move together to make the system function it is in this sense that competition and cooperation move together to achieve the goal third co evolution in an ecosystem competition and cooperation coexist according to murray co evaluation implies the complex interplay between competitive and cooperative business strategies whether to adopt a cooperative or competitive strategy depends on the stage of business life cycle of business ecosystem in fact both competitive and cooperative strategies coexist in a business structure businesses enter into partnerships tapping each other strengths and bringing out the synergistic effects to compete against others this is what we call cooperation among differentiating entities co evolution also means how the change in one company affect the other companies it can also be seen as interdependence or interconnectedness where one company's action or strategies affect the fate of another company for instance maggi dipakel had hit hard the floor millers who were major suppliers to nestle india some millers closed their operations while others scale down their operation the ban on maggi had a catastrophic effect on its ingredient supplier ecosystem the systematic and cascading failure on part of nestle had proved to be a knee jerking crisis for its suppliers similarly business ecosystem and business environment co evolve changes in business environment lead to changes in business ecosystem and they both co evolve through the interaction between the two fourth value sharing value sharing is very important for the growth of business ecosystem it means sharing one success with others for example if one wants to enter a market represented by a pie then one would not like to capture a large share of the pie rather would try to increase the size of the pie so that his share is also increased as well as others this is called value sharing it is about rethinking productivity in the value chain of course business ecosystem is a broader concept than value chain in the context of business ecosystem value sharing implies improving the productivity of others in the ecosystem that leads to decrease in the cost of your business making investment in others such as giving them training and access to technology developing clusters are some of the examples of value sharing it is a strategy for developing the entire ecosystem be it the company's offerings or the offerings of others in the system for instance silicon valley which houses headquarters of many high technology companies and thousands of startup companies is a startup ecosystem it is a hub of high tech companies technology focused institutions support organizations research organizations let us talk about silicon valley university located in san jose california us that offers various programs in computer engineering computer science and business administration silicon valley university was founded by jerry xiao and the money or investment came from chinese entrepreneurs in the silicon valley area this is the example of value sharing that is entrepreneurs investing in educational institution that is a part of its ecosystem another instance of value sharing is the silicon valley startup weekend that is a global network of enthusiastic leaders from various industries and entrepreneurs where entrepreneurs get a chance to share ideas make their team build product and create networks needed to launch an enterprise entrepreneurs learn from the mentors who are there to educate inspire and empower entrepreneurs the weekend organized in july 25 27 2014 
was themed around space technologies and the event in December 13 till 15 2013 was mobile based all startup weekend events consist of activities mentioned below first sharing startup idea second receive feedback from leaders and mentors on ideas presented third team formation fourth creation of business model fifth presenting the business model before judges through presentation sixth getting feedback on presentations presented before the judges seventh judgment and awards fifth is symbiosis symbiosis means any interdependent relationship between two persons groups etc sim means together and bio means life therefore symbiosis means living together it describes the close relationships and interactions between organisms in an ecosystem in a business ecosystem symbiosis refers to the connection dependence and interconnectedness of various parties or constituents of it symbiotic relationship can be positive sum zero sum and negative sum here we are concerned with positive sum relationship it is a relationship between entities which are better off as a sum long term positive sum relationships are called symbiotic relationship where everyone benefits from synergy let us take a very simple example to understand symbiosis for instance a person who wants to make a beautiful painting cannot do so by using say a pencil only to do so one requires pencil markers colors brushes canvas etc now suppose the painter has everything required for making a piece of art but uses only one color in the painting the result would be a not so good or a dull painting no matter how efficient the painter is but if he uses many colors the result would be a vibrant beautiful painting that would be a treat to watch to take instance from the biological ecosystem we can see the symbiotic relationship between bees and flowers both are interdependent flowers cannot reproduce without bees and bees cannot make honey without flowers in the business world we come across many examples of symbiotic relationships between entities like event management an event manager can work well with other service providers such as photographers caterers musicians speakers entertainers etc depending on the requirements of a particular event event management requires many organizations to work as a team similarly there is a symbiotic relationship between advertising companies and companies making the product advertisers help in developing advertising campaign suited for the product and the overall marketing structure of the company all actors in the business ecosystem are connected to each other regardless of their strengths or competencies and share the success or failure of ecosystem as a whole in a nutshell organisms in a system or a network enjoy shared fate this interdependence has wide ranging implications for a business it affects strategies and operations of a firm it is impossible to even think of working in isolation doing business can be meaningful only if the other constituents of ecosystem are considered because products exist in the context of other products sixth diversity diversity means difference variety and likeliness multiformity distinctiveness business ecosystem represents internal as well as external diversity by internal diversity we mean differences or heterogeneity of components of business ecosystem itself whereas external diversity refers to the variety in the surroundings of the business ecosystem external diversity can be better understood as the heterogeneity in the business environment as the organizations try to juggle with the diversity within the organization and business ecosystem they need to adjust themselves to the external diversity that is business environment in figure 2 three levels of diversity have been shown 
while deciding about a strategy it is imperative to analyze if it is in sync with the system or not considering the heterogeneity of various constituents of ecosystem and their respective roles and objectives diversity and complexities are interrelated greater the diversity greater the degree of complexity of business ecosystem because the heightened diversity of individuals and organization is capable to lead to vagueness and ambiguity in analyzing business ecosystem or any of its components now we will discuss upon the layers of business ecosystem back badoni and harandi have developed a conceptual model for business ecosystem which consists of four layers namely leadership contribution users and environment these are discussed in brief below first leaders a leader is a central contributor without whom other members cannot function a leader is a company who provides the platform for others to develop themselves a leader sets goals and influences strategies and fate of other members such as apple in the iphone ecosystem second contributors contributors are various interdependent organizations and individuals who perform tasks in accordance with the platform set forth by the leader diversity at this level is normally high third users individuals and organizations who buy the offerings of business ecosystem fourth environment environment represents the surroundings in which the business ecosystem evolves environment can be classified as economic environment socio cultural environment political environment natural environment technological environment and legal environment these layers depict the position of organizations and individuals in the business ecosystem and their respective roles that are diverse next is diversity of roles lancity and levian in their book the keystone advantage 2004 have developed the roles of various entities in a business ecosystem the different roles as proposed by them are keystones niche players recyclers and commodity provider next is the diversity in the business environment having understood the diversity of business ecosystem it is necessary to link it with the diversity in the business environment business ecosystem does not exist in isolation it is indirectly related to the business environment economic trends social changes technological improvements political and legal changes are the most vital environmental factors for entrepreneurs to understand different environmental factors affect business ecosystem differently for example industries that sell food products high in sugar such as soft drink industry are suffering as there is more emphasis on health and fitness therefore an awareness of environmental trend is of great help for entrepreneurs to better understand the business ecosystem they wish and plan to enter so that successful businesses are built example of diversity in business ecosystem let us try to understand the diversity with the help of an example ecosystem encompassing the film industry includes actors producers directors cinematographers writers music composers costume designers media and many others these all critical entities are different from each other due to the different roles they play in the ecosystem of hollywood or bollywood or any other film industry the diversity is the key feature of ecosystem and is essential for the survival and growth of the system each player in the system has its own role energy characteristics contribution benefits limitations which are peculiar to the performance and growth of the business ecosystem next is innovation and openness innovation is the process of developing and implementing a new idea innovative entrepreneurs become catalyst for change innovation and openness are correlated new ideas will pop up only if there is a culture environment of trust and openness innovation and openness are essential 
be it a small scale startup such as Rahul Mehra's Rahul Egg Corner or a small shop in Delhi that has been serving innovative variants of omelets in more than 350 different styles to the customers over the last 25 years or the business giants such as Tata's, Apple etc. Rahul Mehra, an entrepreneur 25 years ago, understood the latent demand of omelettes. He knew that there was a gap, unfulfilled demand in the market and how egetarians had very few options. Understanding the need of the existing and potential customers can be seen as a fabric of the entire web of the business ecosystem. In the context of business ecosystem, entrepreneurs are faced with the challenge of managing their startups, keeping in view the vision, goals and structures laid down by the ecosystem leader. Especially in case of innovation business ecosystems like Apple iPhone ecosystem. At the same time, entrepreneurs must ensure that their offerings are sufficiently different from leader and other players in the system and work for unique value proposition in such a way that helps in survival and growth of the new venture even if the platform provided by the leader fails. This is possible with innovation and openness in two ways as suggested by Nambison and Biron 2012. First, survival as a member of an ecosystem. It requires entrepreneur to identify opportunities within the system that is exploring the internal opportunities and expanding the existing offerings that are compatible with the platform provided by the leader or dominant player. It is important for entrepreneur to pursue only those opportunities that are feasible, compatible and advantageous for the new venture. Second, survival as a going concern that is independent of leader company which requires entrepreneurs to recognize the external opportunities that is opportunities outside the ecosystem. This strategy allows the company to expand its offerings independent of the platform provided by the leader company. Next is dynamic and adaptive. Business ecosystem reflects dynamism. A dynamic system is characterized by constant change, activity or progress. According to Murray, every business ecosystem develops in four distinct stages, birth, expansion, leadership and self-renewal. Let us discuss them in brief to understand the dynamic nature of business ecosystem. Each state represents interplay of competition and cooperation. First, birth. First stage represents developing the offering or product best suited to customer's need. At this stage, the best strategy on part of an entrepreneur is to work with customers and suppliers and at the same time protect the ideas from competitors who might try to copy the offering. On part of the leader firm, it is beneficial to cooperate with the entrepreneur to develop the full package for customers and to prevent them helping other ecosystems. Second expansion. Second stage represents reaching the masses by expanding scale and scope. It is required to be best in the class to prevent competition. Third, leadership. This is the third stage of life cycle of business ecosystem. At this stage, the symbiotic relationship between suppliers and customers play an important role. When suppliers and customers work together, the ultimate offering is improved manifold. Leader and follower must maintain their bargaining power to flourish in the ecosystem. Fourth, self-renewal. This stage is represented by threat of obsolescence when the new ecosystems emerge and rise and a lot of innovations are happening around. Business in this stage can collapse due to the above mentioned reason and due to the change in the business environment that surrounds the business ecosystem such as changes in the government policy and regulation, change in the consumer behavior etc. Here, the critical issue is the implementation of new ideas. Innovators should be encouraged but prevented from building separate ecosystem. 
such a strategy implies a proactive approach guaranteeing long term survival these four stages depict the dynamic and adaptive nature of ecosystem that are the key characteristics of an ecosystem dynamism represents changes in the immediate and remote environment and adaptation or adaptation refers adjustment and the ability to keep up with the surroundings adaptation gives stability to the business ecosystem by reducing the volatility present in the ecosystem that results from the changing environment summary business ecosystem is a part of business environment it affects and get affected by business environment business ecosystem refers to the direct interaction between immediate stakeholders and related entities of business if we name business environment as supra system then business ecosystem is a sub system because it is concerned with immediate surroundings whereas business environment involves everything around us business ecosystem can be viewed as a symphony of various instruments when they work together for mutual benefits but at times there is a conflict of interest among members of business ecosystem as the saying goes survival of the fittest the one who adapts and works incorporating the changes will survive everyone has a distinct role in a business ecosystem depending upon their nature and objective business ecosystem is multidimensional the constituents of business ecosystem are interconnected and interdependent innovation and openness are the keys to achieve long term growth dynamic nature of ecosystem sets forth the opportunities and threats for the entrepreneurs and existing companies whereas adaptive nature of ecosystem helps in making the best use of opportunities and facing the threats with suitable strategies